I want you to go to your YouTube studio right now and turn on this particular one setting that I'm going to show you. I have a student, she turned on this setting. I told her to actually try this setting. And right now, as I'm seeing her channel is blowing up, you know, and apart from that, I myself, I also turned on this setting and I'm seeing a lot of impressions on my channel, a lot of impressions in my studio. My videos are being recommended. So I'm going to ask you right now to go in the YouTube studio and turn on this particular setting. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back for another video. If this is your first time to be my channel, my name is Dan and on this channel, I create videos about tools, tips and strategies on how to grow on YouTube. So subscribe right now, turn on notifications so that every time I upload, you get notified. I want all of us to grow together. Let's grow together. My returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos regularly. And you're going to gain from that. Did you know that when it comes to getting views on your YouTube videos, that is something that you have control over. That is something you can control. YouTube is an SDO system. And YouTube always recommend videos that people watch for a long time. If you upload a video and viewers watch that video for a long time, for example, if that video is eight minutes, and then they watch for like five or six minutes, YouTube is going to recommend that video and you're going to get views. So that's why I say getting views on YouTube, it is something you have control about. And YouTube is an SEO system. So it's all about feeding the algorithm with the right information about your channel and your videos so that it can recommend your videos to the right audience. The right audience will always watch your videos for a long time because they are interested in your videos. They like your niche. And when they watch for a long time, the algorithm will continue recommending your videos now before i show you these settings i want you to know this if you know that you practice sub for sub on your channel you should stop it because you're not going to grow that is the truth your channel is never going to grow because the people that subscribe to your channel don't come back to watch your videos and that hurts your channel apart from that when you share your youtube link your video url and someone clicks on that video they are going to go on your channel subscribe and like comment but they're not going to watch that video for a long time not even a minute and as i said before when people don't watch your video for a long time the youtube algorithm can never recommend that video because it's going to think that video is a boring video youtube always recommend videos that people watch for a long time youtube want videos that keep people on the platform not videos that send people out of the platform so when people watch your videos for a short time it literally means that your videos are sending people out of youtube and that is something youtube doesn't like so you should stop practicing sub for sub because when you practice that people watch your videos for a short time and it sends a bad signal to the youtube algorithm this is something i almost talk about every time i'm making videos please and please stop practicing sub for sub if you turn on these settings that i'm going to show you and you continue doing sub for sub you're not going to see any results that is the truth and don't come back in my comments saying i've turned on i've tried doing this and it's not working out if you know that you turn on these settings and you practice sub for sub, don't expect any results. That is the proof. All right, let's go in the studio and I show you how to turn on this game changing setting. We are going to use the YouTube Studio dashboard. And if you're using your mobile phone, go to Chrome and search for YouTube Studio dashboard. You're going to access the dashboard. All right, now that you're in the YouTube Studio, what you do, you go direct to settings. Now, under channel, there is basic info. You just scroll down under basic info, you'll see keywords. Now, once you reach here, what you do, you go to YouTube, okay? When in YouTube, you search for the content that you make, your niche, okay? For example, let me say I make content about cooking. I'll just search for cooking. Yeah, cooking as simple as that. Now, once I search for cooking, videos will pop up, both shorts and videos. What you do, you click on videos, okay? Now, once this video pop up, you look for videos that are performing well, okay? So, we are going to look for a particular video. There is a video right here. This video was uploaded seven days ago and it has over 4.9 million views in seven days. So, this is a good video and what you do, you just click on their channel. Now, this channel is called Village Cooking Channel and this channel makes videos about cooking. So what you do, you just click on more right here 
and you'll be redirected to their about section. When you read this description, you realize that this is not just a description. They have inserted here keywords that are making their videos to blow up, that are making their channel to actually blow up. They are feeding the YouTube algorithm with the right information about which kind of videos their channel make. So when you make videos about cooking, you just copy these keywords, you go back to YouTube Studio, and then you add them in your channel keywords. So you click here to highlight this part and you go back to YouTube. You copy a word by a word. For example, this first keyword, village grandpa cooking. So you go back to YouTube studio and then you type in village grandpa traditional cooking. Now, once you're done typing in the keywords, what you do next, it is to add a comma. You add a comma to save these keywords. Don't save the keyword without a comma. So you just add a comma. And when you add a comma, the keyword saves automatically. After that, you go back to YouTube and then you copy another keyword. When you're done copying these keywords, you go to another channel and do the same thing. After copying all of these keywords and inserting them in your YouTube studio keywords, what you do next, you minimize this about section and you copy this channel name because this channel name is a big brand. It is a big channel. It is performing well. Since it is performing well, you copy their name and then you also insert their name in your keywords. Okay. Now, after that, you can go and do the same thing to another channel that is making the same content, the same niche, and you do the same thing. You copy keywords and you insert their channel name. Now, after that, you don't stop there. You go back to YouTube Studio and you save your keywords that you actually put. And after saving them, after saving these keywords, you go back to Studio Dashboard and then you scroll down here to customization. Now, when you click on customization, you go to profile and you scroll down to description. So the description is here. Now, in the description, you're going to insert those keywords, but this time around, you're going to insert those keywords using sentences. For, for example, when you look at my channel description, this is a sentence, this is a paragraph of a sentence, but it has some keywords. It has tips, tricks, strategies to grow your channel, increase your views, monetize your content. It has beginners, creators, and so on, okay? Now, once you're done inserting the keywords in sentences, what you do next, you click on publish, and the settings will be saved. If you found this video helpful, like it, smash that like button right away, and subscribe for more videos like this if you've not subscribed yet. Watch this video if your problem is watch hours. I explain everything on how I got over 3,600 watch hours in a period of seven hours. Not seven days, not seven weeks, but seven hours. I gained 3,600 watch hours. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.